Hey guys, it's Harry, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to upgrade the graphics on your iPhone applications. Now the iPhone 4 has come out. Um, I actually got my hands on one. I think I'll be doing a review soon. Waited in line for 15 hours overnight. But, uh, yeah, so now the iPhone 4 has come out, which has two times the resolution of the iPhone 3GS in previous generations with a 960 by 640p. Uh, well, uh, resolution. It is, um, well, it just, it doesn't look great if you don't upgrade your applications, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's actually very simple, but, um, some people may not know how to do it. So, uh, all you need is a view-based application. Um, And right now, you only need to do this for the iPhone, but uh, probably come into the iPad pretty soon. So just go into your view controller dot uh, h and I create a UI image view. Actually, no, you, you don't even have to create anything, so, um, so then you just need to find a picture, actually, here, I have an idea, you can actually just go into Keynote, and create a little square, take a picture of that, okay, so say for some reason in your application you had, a square. Voila. And now in your iPhone 4 application, you need to upgrade those graphics. So we'll just make a square two times the size. And now we can just get those. I could go into Illustrator and do this, but it takes a little bit longer. And I really don't need to. Okay, so then those pictures will be on our desktop, or on your desktop. Just drag those into resources. And now rename these. So let's just say, wait. Let's just say that your picture was called picture. For some reason you chose a boring name. And then, so you, for an upgraded, gra for a game with upgraded graphics, for every picture that you show on the screen, you have to have two pictures of that. So it does increase the size of your applications. But, um, so, you, this one you would call the exact same thing, but at the end, at 2x. And then if you go into your view controller dot xiv, all you really need is an image view. That was the size of our downgraded graphic, uh, our regular graphics square. Um, so whatever image that you created on the screen, you want to have it um, just the uh, the size of the uh, normal pixel density screen, uh, 166, or no, it's like 72 ppi or something like that. Um, actually, I have no idea. Whatever. Uh, the regular graphics screen uh, size, so the smaller picture, um, you want it to be the size of that. 
And then whenever you're do working with any pixel density, or when I mean pixel points on the screen, it's still 0 to 320. Uh, so you don't have to, you don't use the, uh, yeah, it'll, Apple will automatically change those numbers uh, if it's on an iPhone 4. You don't have to do any of that, which is pretty nice. So. There we go. You can save and quit interface builder. And go and run in the simulator. And there you go. It doesn't look like, well, anything. But uh, if this were an iPhone 4, it would be uh, not pixelated. So it's very simple, and, but I just thought I'd show you guys and I'll also explain how to work with CG points a little bit, aka the pixel points on the screen, which I just said like 20 seconds ago. Um, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys upgrade the, your graphics on your application because and the, the downgraded graphics look like crap on the iPhone 4 or the regular graphics. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.